Okay, Ami, so how was court today? Um, it was kind of boring, but, well, the details, the witness was saying, uh, the details she's going through, the policies and the safety stuff that the police officers, you know, do. She is like policy to policy and the trust, you know, they, they emphasize trust with them because it, they, they trust in the officers to write a detailed, you know, report and stuff. So there's a lot of going through policies and safety issues and whatever and a lot of that. So it's the same witness all day and then after lunch, they put their witness aside because the doctor came in for like an hour because, you know, the doctor, he, he had a certain time frame, but the doctor came on and talked about, you know, things, whatever, and so that's what we, that's what happened. So it's kind of a long day. Yep, so. and so yesterday, or, or earlier, an hour or so ago, you did the video with Diana that was just an immediate debrief. Yeah. And then what we were going to do now was to talk about what you thought about the news coverage from yesterday, because you've seen that. You've yeah. seen what the news reporters put out on the TV at 10 o'clock yesterday, about yesterday. Yeah. And so what did you think about the reporting um, based on you actually seeing what was going on and versus what the, the news media was reporting? Yeah, the word excited. The fair, excited delirium. Delirium. That word is what keeps keeps him being brought up, and whether or not he had a cardiac arrest or if it was from the drugs. So they're talking, you know, they're really focusing on it was a cardiac arrest, and if if it was complications from drugs and versus cited delirium. So that's like the main focus. Yeah. And one of the things that you were also talking about, that right now it's mostly been Officer Tao, right? Yes, they are. Now they are showing all the safety stuff that Officer Tao has had to go through to get where he's at now. So they're going through all the, you know, like his community uh, as an officer, his, well, I wrote it down, but it's, it's a lot of detailed training, a lot of hours, he had to go through a lot of, a lot of training that they had to go through. So now they are starting with, with Officer Tao. You've also been getting a lot of information that's kind of off, 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 off the track, you know, like for, for example, like mitigating stuff on the other officers, like, um, you know, the, the rookies essentially, you know, and how yeah. they, they have, um, things that they did that were a lot less bad than potentially what Officer Tao. Yes, because Officer Lane was in the paramedics when the paramedics came, so he was... Assisting. He was assisting the medics. He was a, he, so he was in the paramedics, assisting the medics, so when the medics drove off a couple blocks, he was with them, so they did the load and go, so Lane was in the medics. In the, in the ambulance, helping the medics, assisting them. Yep, so basically uh, the three officers are being lumped together kind of similarly, but a lot of people are saying that Officer Tao is the, the one that's more serious and the other two less so. Yes, because Officer Tao was the one that told the key witness that uh, he refused to let the key witness help, even though the key witness identifying herself as an off-duty firefighter, he he pretty much told her, well, if you're off-duty, if you're a firefighter, you know not to interfere. But the off-duty firefighter recognized that as this guy needed medical attention and she knew she could help him, but Tao wouldn't allow that. Yep. So, so there's a lot of people that are feeling that um, there might be a split verdict. Maybe That's even. why they won the miss uh, trial because of the key, I, the key witnesses' statement. Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't granted. No, I uh, denied. So, be interesting. And, and you, you feel that the generally speaking, the news reporters from yesterday 
that came out, aside from the fact that they're very, very brief, they don't, they're not very long. You feel they're fairly fair? Uh, if I mean, yeah, five is been covering it more. I, I, I see more Channel 11 and Channel 9 in the media room. I haven't read across the guy from Channel 5. But yeah, that, that word, excited uh, delirium, that's the popular word. That's where they're focusing on, okay, how, you know, what is caused, what caused his, his death. So how do, you haven't been seeing the jury yet. No. But you're going to be getting to see them pretty soon. If I learn how to post notes, is that what you call it? Yeah. yeah. Which, come on, me, uh, not the greatest of note taking. I'm yeah. Just, my camera takes up. Because that's one of the conditions is you have to be uh, cooperating with the other people as far as being a pool reporter. Yes. And, I don't uh, think I could do that. But, you know, I, I, I'm out of my comfort zone right now. I'm out of my comfort zone. Yeah, because you're not doing photography and videography. Well, I can't use my camera to live stream. I have to take notes. I'm yeah. out of my com comfort zone. My camera captures everything. You know my camera catches everything. Yeah, that's your but thing. But I'm out of my comfort zone, so I'm trying to take the best notes. Yeah. All right, so this has been good. Yeah. You've been doing good stuff, and you're getting good stuff. You're building relationships with a lot of key people. Yeah. You know, you're getting to talk to, you know, significant people. Yeah. That people recognize. Yeah. And, um, you know, you're making friends with them, and learning yeah. things and you're getting more of the human side of stuff yeah you know, more of the compassionate side of stuff yeah and uh basically in my opinion i think um some of these officers the families of these officers should be considering talking to us about telling their story a little bit because there's a yeah. lot of especially yeah. the the two like rookies especially the two rookies yeah but even the Tao family might be wise to to talk to us we've been yes. having connections with the Floyd family and the Stewart family so yes. right so we're getting a lot of connections there too yes you know and so it's not as it's not as uh, not as uh, contentious as you would think yes this there's a lot more uh, compassion to it um, yes. all, all the way around so yes all right well thank you very much all right Cammie. Yeah, signing out <laughs>